Fred Landon, farmer. Pretty successful farmer, in fact. And a regular sort of a guy. Got a wife, Sarah. A daughter, Melissa, in college. And a neighbor who was a prospective son-in-law, Jim Newcomb. All in all, pretty nice people. Of course, even with regular guys, some days are better than others. In fact, some days are lots better. It's tough enough to operate a big spread even when everything goes just right. But let things start going wrong, and boy, that's something else. Fred Landon can hardly be expected to know that help is on the way. Help comes in many forms. This time it's from Jim, with spec sheets on a new tractor. Those specs are just what every man dreams of. But more help is on the way. Yes, sir, real muscle. For daughter Melissa is bringing home a guest from college. Lucian, Lucian Weatherby. Lucian Hart Weatherby, the third. Here comes big city know-how for any farm problem. He's called, of all things, Lucy. That looks good. Sarah, you know, Jim is right. It is just about time. We find that it pays for itself. You know, it's just about time for Melissa. And her guest. Her guest? Yes, someone named Lucy, she said. But then she said he, something about he's never seen a farmer and thought it might be fun. Well, now, if in he or she ain't never seen no farmers, uh, maybe I better get into character, huh? Oh, come on, Jim. Jim. Missy, it's great to see you. Oh, and Jim, this is Lucy. Here, Mel. And how are you, Jim? Let's see now, you're Mel and you're Lucy? Okay, if you say so. Actually, this is Lucian. Lucian Weatherby. Lucian Hart Weatherby. The third. Well, I hear to Henry the fourth, but I ain't never here to know Lucian the third. Jim Newcomb, now you be nice. I'm here to work. I'm going to earn my keep and learn about nature and the agrarian revolution. Well, I understand the work part of it, but I don't know about no agrarian revolution. So Lucian Hart Weatherby III comes to the farm. Even in the country, a city boy just can't be too careful. Well, quite a car you got there. Thank you, sir. And Jim gets to make like a bellhop. Whoops, don't bruise the baggage. <laughs> and the first day. Lucian wonders where everybody is. He thought work began early on the farm. It does, Sarah Landon explains. Her husband's been in the fields since 5.30. Oh, well, Lucian decides I'll help. I'll fetch you some water. Where's the pump house? Sarah is gentle with him. Shows him things are really quite up to date. Running water even. So he'll help work the fields. Jim proves very helpful. He fills Lucy in on what needs to be done and how to do it. too small? Here comes real power now. How do you like her, Fred? Man, is that something? It's all they said and more. They even got locks on the door. I guess city folk <laughs> could appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. 
I noticed you got the air conditioning, too. Air conditioned cab, fully insulated, padded all the way around. Hey, hold it! Get it untangled. Unhitch is easy enough, but those hoses are something else. No, no, Lucy. You can uncouple that by hand, even under pressure. We were going to tell you. But Lucy is determined to learn. And Fred Landon feels it'll be safe enough if he, Fred, controls the speed of the operation. All Lucy has to do is keep the tractor at a constant speed and the silage will blow right into his wagon. not intimidated. He slings a mean bale of hay, even on a really hot day. Hi, how about some nice cold lemonade for hard-working farmer? Sounds great. Does he always wear that outfit? He looks like he's going to a barn dance. Oh, Jim, don't let him fool you. He's got his degree in agronomy. He's just providing what you might call a little local color. Local color? Huh. He looks more like a local yokel. Anyway, Fred figures maybe Jim Newcomb might be a better teacher and offers to lend him Lucy as a hired hand, free of charge. And Jim wonders, why me? Not much of a stacking job, but maybe it'll do for a first-time effort. Things just don't seem to work right for Lucy. And Jim always seems to be on hand to let him know that. Time for a day of rest and recreation at the Landon Summer Cottage. For Jim, it'll be a work session. Brought along the power saw to clean up that area at the back of the lot. Let's go for a swim, Melissa says. For all, it's a welcome change of pace. And Jim seeks the pause that refreshes. It's the real thing. gets another idea.
regular Paul Bunyan. He's perfectly willing to let the chips fall where they may. Lucy to leave. Missy, look, I got it. Oh, Jim, I'm so happy for you and for us. Hey, man, where are you going? Wall Street? No, to the bank. I got my loan. It means another 400 acres and a real feeding operation. 400 acres? Wow. I used to think a 100-foot lot was big. You know, I'm just not ready for all of this. Maybe not, Lucy, but it takes all kinds to keep things going. Here, Lucy, some cookies I baked this morning. Now, don't eat them all before you get home. Thanks, Mrs. Landon. I sure learned a lot about farming and farmers. Nice to have you. Come back again. Thank you, sir. Bye, Lucy. Well, I'd say he certainly left his mark on this farm. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe the farm left its mark on him. <laughs> Thank you. 